Deep in the south of Thailand lives a contraband tree driven to the brink of extinction on the land where its medicinal use was first documented. Why are you carrying a machine gun? Despite booby traps, precarious boulders, and the cryptic warnings of poachers, I've come to find the tree where it grows in the wild. Oh, shit. Oh. I've been fascinated by psychoactive drugs my whole life. I love to study their chemistry and impact on society. And my work has allowed me to investigate extraordinary substances around the world. Yet there are still mysteries that remain. To its users, it's an herbal medicine. To the governments that prohibit it, a deadly drug. Wow. There it is. This is the story of Kratom. far, far east, where Mitragena speciosa grows wild. In the same family as the coffee tree, its glossy green, ovate lanceolate leaves remain an exotic novelty to many in the United States. But in the far, far east of Brooklyn, Tom is enjoying a modest surge in popularity. So the purest way to intake it is actually drinking the leaf itself. What you want to do is you want to start with two to three grams because you want to see how your body reacts to it. The side effect of this is, is nausea, if you intake too much for your body. How's business been? Pretty good. It's definitely uh, worth it. People are reacting to it very well because, you know, we show people that there are so many other things out there that are good for them rather than, you know, alcohol or other substances that aren't very good for your body. Do you have any concerns about it being addictive? So I believe that anything could be addictive if you overdo it. But opioids specifically are so stigmatized right. and associated with addiction. There is no overdose with Kratom. If you overdose, pretty much what happens is you get sick, you, you vomit, like I said, a couple times and then it's gone. So go ahead, try it out. Kratom's indole alkaloids, metragenine and 7-hydroxymetragenine, bind to mu opioid receptors in a manner similar to morphine. But their non-poppy source and reduced ability to depress respiration make them a different class of opioid analgesics. At low doses, users report a stimulant effect, and at high doses, a sedative effect. feel it. Really? Yep. It's nice. It's a euphoric sensation. Yeah. It's surprising to me that this even exists. 
Or that it's or that we existing have. in a bar type. Setting? Setting, yeah. Yeah. Because for me, it's always been this sort of nerdy thing, like like one of many of these herbs that you can get on the internet. It struck me as just a thing that nerdy guys would do alone. Well, no, that's just your perspective on it, because <laughs> that's what you are. <laughs> Since the mid-2000s, Kratom has steadily gained popularity in the U.S. Its extracts and powders are sold in bars, head shops, and through online distributors. Just wanted to see if you are interested in buying some cream from us. Is it already been sent down to the warehouse? No, not yet. Oh, we're going to have to send it down. OK, cool. I'll make sure we send it down. Yeah, it needs to go out ASAP. Cool. So here is uh, just our packaging area. This is a typical, uh, what a typical shipment would look like. And what is this product? So this is a kratom in, from Indonesia. This one's from Borneo. So it's already a powder when you receive it. The majority of the time it is. Um, every now and then we'll get some crush leaf uh, where we'll mill our cells. Wow. <laughs> How many trees would it take to grow this much leaf? One tree will produce about 20 kilos. It's estimated that three to five million people use this product daily, and that generates $250 million in revenue. And just the amount of product that's being imported is 80 tons per day. 80 tons per day coming from Indonesia? From Indonesia, mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, it's incredible. That's 16 million doses. That's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Kratom grows throughout Southeast Asia, but it's prohibited in Malaysia and Thailand. In countries such as Indonesia and Vietnam, where the plant is still legal, metric tons of powdered leaf are exported to the United States each day. But this may be short-lived, as the legal status of Kratom in the United States remains precarious. You know, we were on the brink of shutting our doors down. Uh, the DEA was about to schedule this in the same classification as heroin. That's significant. That's jail time. In 2016, as the threat of emergency scheduling grew near, Kratom advocates responded en masse, collecting 140,000 pro-Kratom signatures and staging a rally in front of the White House. Due to the public backlash, the DEA withdrew its intent to schedule an unprecedented